It's coming to every Ames discount department store to make sure these advertised sale prices are as low as you'll find anywhere. Save $4 on men's lease stone washed and black denim jeans, now just $18.99. Or save $5 on men's Lee pleated and acid washed jeans, just $24.99. These prices are backed by something so reliable, we guarantee it will never be broken. It's the Ames low price promise. Ames, we grew up with better values. You can miss the royal wedding, but you can't miss the Ames One Day Sale Thursday only. Save 25 to 50% off all clothing and accessories for men, women, and kids. 30% off all furniture and lighting. You can miss the moon landing, but not 30% off all gas grills, patio furniture, fans, and air conditioners. Plus 20 to 40% off all sheets, towels, curtains, and draperies. You can miss the inauguration, but not 60% off all fine jewelry. Plus take another 30% off your fine jewelry purchase at the register. The Ames One Day Sale Thursday only. You can't miss it. Everything you need this fall at a fraction of the price. It's Eames one-third off back-to-school sale. Get one-third off all men's clothing, all ladies' clothing, and all kids' clothing. One-third off all shoes, one-third off all Rubbermaid, and one-third off all mini blinds. Plus, get one-third off all furniture and lighting, along with one-third off all comforters and bedspreads. So don't miss the Ames one-third off back-to-school sale this Friday and Saturday only. It's the ultimate lesson in saving. Are you curious what an abandoned Ames department store looks like in 2021? If so, come along with me. Let's check it out together. All right, so those of you who have been following me for any amount of time know that I've visited this store two prior times. And I didn't have any intentions on coming back a third time, but since we are in the area, I decided to stop by, check it out, and to see what, if anything, has changed since our last visit. Now, if you want to get any information about the history of this building, I will link my first video down below in the description and also up here in the corner. And you'll be able to see my first visit here where I do share the dates and information as to when it opened, when it closed. But this is going to be more of a highlights tour. I'm just going to show you some of the more favorable areas because, again, I have covered it twice already. So I'm not going to go too extensively into it. It's going to show you some of my favorite spots. And in the background there is RJ and... Alan of Revenge of the Apocalypse. There is the front service desk here where you can still see some Ames badges here. And this is wide open. The back door, as I'll show in a clip, is completely open, open door policy. It's not posted, not sealed up. You're freely able to walk in. I'm always fascinated by those big fan units up there. They're humongous. They're probably about six feet in diameter. Gotta make sure before we leave that we uh, turn the security system on. Don't want any vagrants wandering around. There's obviously a lot of broken fluorescent lights which are up on the ceiling. So people are still coming here doing some vandalism. On the floor, you can see the scarring from the registers, the checkout area. But nearly everything has been stripped. The building, though, as I said in the past, is actually surprisingly in good shape. Aside from the vandalism, there's very little spots of leaks in the roof, not a whole lot of mold. It's surprisingly well kept for being empty for a lengthy amount of time. But I'm going to show you one of my favorite areas, and that is the bathroom. I know that doesn't sound exciting, but if you haven't seen the previous visits, I think you'll understand why I want to show it to you. The upper window is the office area, which I'll give you a brief tour at later. And here is the punch-in area where the time clock would have been. This door was not closed before. There we go.
Whew. It closes with a vengeance. So this still appears to be a type of break room. Strangely, it has like pastel color wallpaper. But the women's room is what I want to show you. We're going to take a step back in time going through here. I'm sure the lights are on. Yeah, check out the tile work. There's all the original faucets and the sinks. And the great thing, which I'm glad is still here, is from the former store that used to be here. This was Big M. So before becoming Ames, it was Big N department store. And that's one of the original signs. That's dating back quite a bit of time. And if it wasn't laminated like this, it wouldn't be surviving. But it's pretty neat to see that it's kind of completely original. They haven't really done any updating. And I'm sure the toilets are maybe a little bit more modern, but for the most part, it is pretty original. And it's one of my favorite areas of the store. It is like stepping back in time. Get out of my bathroom. That's just a wee little door. Goes to a little kind of cubby hole underneath the steps. Ah. Shopping cart. I wasn't here last time and some type of little shrine i don't know it was like those cattail things i remember I used to soak them in kerosene make like a torch and pennies wonder what's going on here this one does have the blue tile as well but not nearly as nice as the women's room let's see if they can hear me through here Let's see, global dryer. How about that? Still works. Just kidding, there's some clever editing. So I'll give you guys a brief look upstairs. It's pretty trashed. But these are areas that, unless you work here, you wouldn't typically see, but most department stores or businesses do have a very similar layout. This is just office areas. There's like an accounting money room. There is some mold up here, so I'm not going to spend too much time. See this paneling in here. So here's a Dutch door. <laughs> this would be like a money room here. There we go. Please drop off your money bag here. Get out of my barn. I think this is the stairs. Yep, and we're back down. Getting a little crowded up there. And as you come down, turn to your right, there's still a sign from the liquidation sale. All items on sale. 
There's an RJ in the hole. And here's your changing rooms. Handicap accessible. Full length mirror. Say hello. Yeah, nothing really uh, much left to them. Just the framing. But let's head to the back. I'll show you the back house area. And that will pretty much conclude our tour here of the former Ames department store. Right back here, you'll find layaway. And if you go back, this is the back house area. This is a storage room, which does have Christmas stuff. So you know what that means, right? Exactly. Officially abandoned. So this is as far as the public would be able to go is to this counter right here. We're going to go back to the other set of doors and get to the main area where they have the trash compactor and other things. Now here, there is some roof leakage here. You can see the wet tiles, but it's very minimal compared to the rest of the building. You can see caged areas where they would have kept merchandise. And there is a access to the roof. And which looks to be like a little maintenance utility room here. Got a wash sink in here and uh, other things in the back for electrical. Some fluorescent light framings and ballasts. And a water main in the back. And here is the outdoor trash compactor. You throw your garbage in here, hit the controls, and it would compact it into a dumpster, which would get picked up and exchange out with an empty one. But beware. Batman's been here. And aside from Batman, Alf the alien has been here. But this place just stuffed up a few notches. It has some notable people visiting here. How about that? You even have the instructions on here to operate. Make sure key is in the auto position. Press start button and hold for a few seconds. Keep door closed when in use. And that is the controls right here. So the hydraulic compactor, that's a big hydraulic tank right there. I've used them at stores I worked at, came more at Walmart. Guys, I was look here at the Ames department store here in 2021, probably my third and final visit. Don't forget if you want to see the first visit here with a lot of the back history information, you will find the link down below in the description and when it popped up in the corner earlier. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And if you did happen to enjoy this video, please show your support by giving a thumbs up. With that said, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.